Hello guys, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to install um, AdventureCraft. Uh, it's a pretty simple install, but a lot of people were kind of wondering on how to do it, and um, I decided to make a video, I guess. I don't know. But a lot of people, I got a bunch of messages and like comments and says saying, yeah, stuff, saying, I don't know how to install it, make a tutorial. So, um, yeah, here's a quick tutorial on it. Uh, you're going to want to click the link in the description or go to Google. Either one is fine. If you hit the one in the description, just wait a minute and wait for us to catch up. Uh, if you're going to use Google, obviously, then just follow these steps. So, um, yeah, you're going to want to hit the link in the description or go to Google and type in Adventure Craft Wiki and then do the very first one. And, oh, oh, oh God, I've asked. Oh, no, thank you. Anyways, you're going to want to hit the uh, very first one. Uh, it should say like main page or something if you don't type it wrong, and then just hit that one. And over here you'll hit you'll or you'll hit well you will hit it, but you'll see that it says download now. Just open this in a different tab or whatever, and then I'm gonna open the um, maps one in a new tab thing just for later reference. Anyways, um, what you want to do from here is just got quiet. That's weird. Anyways, what you want to do from here is you scroll down, way down, very very bottom. Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, here it is. Anyways, you'll see these two downloads that say, like, with maps or without or no maps or with maps, whatever. Uh, you're, it depends what you want. If you want ones with two test maps, then do with maps. And if you want one without any maps, then do it with no maps because that doesn't add any maps. So, uh... Pretty much, if you want maps to test on and uh, like an adventure, kind of just get the hang of things. Do with maps, and if you just if if you don't, then just hit no maps. So it depends on what you want to do. Um, I'm gonna do with maps just because I guess a lot of people have um, you know, well, not played it, I guess, or you know, if they, if they can't install it, then they haven't played it, so they're gonna be downloading this one, and they kind of want to be the same. Anyways, this one's screaming outside. What's happening? Anyways, uh, once that's done, or done, or done downloading at least, uh, go to the map section on the wiki, and uh, this is the list of all the maps, because you can see a bunch of Legend of Zelda ones, which is kind of crazy. But, uh, ooh, Ocarina of Time. May have to try that later. Wind Waker. Lumberjack's Adventure. <laughs> Mayan Temple. This is the one. This is the one that it comes with, Mayan Temple. And then a biome test, which isn't here. Crisis. Ooh. There's a lot of them. I'm going to have to test much of these out. Anyways, um, I'm going to do an Agicraft just because it's the one I'm playing and I'm guessing a lot of people would you know, want that one. So you're going to hit Agicraft and then here you're going to see a download link or make a download in the version. Just hit that and it'll take you either to like a forum post or a download page like Mediafire. So it just, it just depends. If it's a forum post then, well, you're just going to have to find the download link. I This one doesn't, so... No, whatever. But the putting the map in is the same process for everything. So it's not like, oh, a free iPad 2. I don't want an iPad 2. I want, like, a touchpad when they ever come out. Because touchpad looks epic. Anyways, is that down that... Oh, God. Open fraps. Oh, what's, what's happening? I'm getting confused. No, wait. I need to open downloads. Here we go. Anyways, a bunch of random avatar pictures and stuff like that. Anyways, you're going to want to go to AdventureCraft, the zip, whatever, and open it. And, uh, wait for it to load. There we go. And you're going to want to extract this to somewhere where you remember and, you know, kind of launch it. So you can do program files, documents. Since I don't really need it, or I need it, but since I already have one installed, I'm just going to extract it to downloads because I can get rid of it in a little bit. So, uh, let it copy the items, blah, blah, blah. Exit this, go into Adventure Craft. Then from here, without adding the other maps or any maps at all, just hit the uh, the dot jar, I think, or the exe. It tells you to do the jar, which is a Java one. So I would just do that because that's what it tells you, even though I don't think it would be too much of a problem. Or I don't, I don't know. It just, it just tells you to do the jar, so why not? Why not listen to the rules? Anyways, you're going to want to launch it up, which sometimes takes minutes because for some reason it keeps loading Java games or horribly slow or anything to be not anything but it's been loading Minecraft which t yes it is Java so never mind it's been loading Java games slowly there we go there we go let me wait anyways if you launch it up sometimes it'll be like right here next to install via login there'll be something that says update to and then like a version number anytime that says that just tap that and it'll automatically update whoa what happens what I get 
Cause I can read me. This is new. Just froze. Oh, never mind. That was weird. Huh. Odd. Anyways, what you're gonna want to do is hit install via login, and because uh, this is the easiest, especially if you have mods in your Minecraft folder and or like a modified. Minecraft thing, like if you have custom texture packs and stuff, just hit install. Simply put, just hit install via login. It makes everything easier, and this will not alter your Minecraft in any way. You can play both separately, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't interfere with both of them. So, or either one of them. Like Minecraft won't interfere with this because it doesn't override anything in Minecraft. It's like its own little game, just kind of running on Minecraft's engine I guess not really an engine but whatever anyways what you want to do is log in and then hit ok and then wait a minute it'll say progress dot 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 load hopefully just wait for this to finish really quick and it'll download the files needed for uh, the game like it'll download minecraft itself I guess so you're gonna want to wait for this to do that then you'll see it's you know installed finished installing hit now oh, car alarm is going off it's like I live in the ghetto or something. I do not live in the ghetto. That's scary. Anyways, you're going to want to hit start and um, wait for it to load. Oh, that loaded faster. Haha, -ha, I love it. Anywho. Come on, launch. There we go. Oh, God. There we go. Oh, God. It's like way up there. Get down from there. Anyways, as you can see, it load up and everything. Uh, single player. As you can see, these are the maps. It comes with biome and mine temple, so... Yeah. Anyways, just exit that for now for the map. Or, you know, we're gonna get the map running. And for the map, let's open this really quickly. And uh, if it's, it'll be in your downloads folder. If you know, whatever, depending on what you're using, actually. But you just want this open. And anyways, you're gonna want to go into the map folder and then extract the map. Whatever it should be have it should have a folder name like you know, Agricraft or Legend of Zelda or pretty much whatever the map is called. It should have a folder. If it doesn't, and it just kind of has like whatever this is, kind of like you know. It just if it looks like this, you're gonna want to make a folder for it, you know, whatever it is. Usually, I'm pretty sure all of them have a folder, but some of them couldn't. So if they can't, if they don't, if they can't, if they don't have one, then just uh, do that, I guess, and make a folder like whatever it is. Anyways, um, what you want to do from there is why is this open? I'm gonna close this. Anyways, from here, just go back to AdventureCraft, and I'm gonna click the exe now. See if it does anything different. Maybe this is for, maybe the jar is like universal and the EXE is just for Windows users or something, because, I don't know. Anywho. Wait for this to load. That's to load again. Wait. What's... <sighs> Come on. Don't be slow on me. There's no reason. I don't understand why it's so slow. Like, when I can load other games extremely fast and Minecraft's like, oh god, I can't do it. Come on, you can do it. I just launched you. Don't do this to me. Alrighty, there we go. Anyways, it's going to hit start right away so it doesn't have to load anything else and freak out. So let's hit start and wait for the enormously long loading time. Again. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, wait, no, this is what happened last time and then it took forever to actually get into the game itself. <sighs> Come on. You silly thing. There we go. And then to get the map running, just hit single player, create. Your, yeah, hit create new world, and you'll see all the mun. Your all the what's all the muns? All the nuns? Oh God! You'll see all the ones you can do. So um, do agicraft. Just you know, click it and hit done, or double click it. As you can see, the skin takes effect, like the custom skin. And uh, yeah, you're not playing agicraft, so you know, pretty easy to do. You know, one of the easiest mods to install, definitely. We oh, just gonna jump up there, climb up here, I guess. Jump! Interesting. Kill myself. Wee! Splat! That's disturbing. Anyways, whoa. Oh, the skin actually still is here. That's peculiar. Anyways, guys, yep, that's how to install AdventureCraft. Hope that helped you out if you did not know how. And as you can if you, you know, whatever. Blah. Yeah, wherever the folder is, just you know, launch it, and you can still run Minecraft and everything without it affecting it, kind of like ZombieCraft does. Where's not kind of not kind of like it. it's the opposite of ZombieCraft, where ZombieCraft has to be placed in the Minecraft folder. If you remember my tutorial on that, and this is cool because you know it doesn't do that, so you can have both of them. You know, it makes it a lot easier, I guess. You don't have to keep overriding stuff, deleting stuff, 
copying stuff, saving stuff, putting it back in. Yeah, which is kind of, you know, annoying, I guess. But, yeah, that's how to install AdventureCraft, guys. So I hope that, I hope, yeah, I hope that helped you out. And uh, if you guys want to play out some maps, whatever, like, because there's a ton of maps. So if you want to play some out and kind of tell me what ones are decent or what ones you like, I will uh, definitely look at them, give them a try, and probably, hopefully, make an adventure on them. Because I can do a bunch of adventures in AdventureCraft, or not AdventureCraft, but, like, AdventureCraft, then, like, a sub-series of a series. Hmm, peculiar. Kind of like what I'm doing now, where it has, like, the parentheses and what the map is and whatever. But anyways, guys, yeah, if you find any good maps, um, I don't know, just post a comment or whatever on my channel or whatever, send me a message or something, and kind of tell me you like it, and tell me why you like it, because I don't want to, you know, go in and just kind of say, oh, I like this map, and then, you know, no reason, because then I'd have to go in and play it and go, oh, wait, this is... You know, whatever. So just give me a reason why you like it. Stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, that is it for now, guys. So hope you have fun with AdventureCraft. And, uh, yeah, I shall see you all later.